In my classroom, I use a lot of photos. I've been using photographs a lot for documentation. I take pictures of what my kids are doing, um, the kind of work that they're producing. I also use cameras to just remember experiences, like field trips that we take or certain visitors that come in the classroom. So this year I tried handing a digital camera over to my students. In the classroom we have classroom jobs, and I created a photographer of the day. All right, so I need you guys' help to take care of our classroom today. Our light keeper. Melanie. Melanie. Our plant caretaker. Jonathan. Jonathan. Our photographer. Samantha. Samantha. Our so one student has their name put up by the photographer of the day. They're handed the camera upon arrival and they start taking pictures of whatever they please. They take a picture of their work, read aloud, story time, their playtime, recess. I'm able to see what my students' perspective is in the classroom. So we talk a lot about a developmentally appropriate environment, what kinds of things are accessible for the kids. And when they're taking pictures of certain things, I'm able to see, is that accessible to them? Are they gaining from it? Are they learning from it? And to me, as an adult, from my perspective, I see things at a different level than they do. So I need to think about if I need to adjust my calendar or adjust the schedule back down to their height so it's more meaningful to them in the classroom. Since I started doing it, I was able to see some different perspectives in the classroom. Um, between all my students, there's lots of different relationships. The kids pair up in different ways. But in one example, there were two students that I didn't really see play together very often. It's not that they weren't friends. They just they went different ways. Um, but in looking back through the photos that one of the other students took, I saw that they were playing together extensively that day and building together and using their little people to have a dialogue through their toys. And that was a good opportunity for me to see that they, they are playing together even though I don't see it all the time. The students not only take photos in this classroom, but they're also able to carry the camera to other parts of the school for their day. So going back through the photos, I was able to see what kinds of projects are they doing even outside of my instruction with other teachers. So at the end of the day, I transfer those photos that that student took and I put them onto the iPads. Then the next day, all the students can go to the iPad and look through the photos that that student took. The kids that revisit the photos from another, another student, they love to talk about those photos. They revisit them and they talk about special visitors that came in that day or what a friend is doing. Um, a lot of the kids like to make silly faces in front of the camera and they'll go back to those pictures and talk about what silly faces they're making and who's in them and it's a great oral language opportunity. Hi Naomi, would you like a hug, handshake or high five? A hug, good morning. Hey Tyler, hug, handshake or high five? So a lot of the parents when they drop their kid off, they only see me at the door and they don't know what happens the rest of the day. But this gives them an insight into what a full day in ECE looks like. I'm working on just getting this project started for now. So I'm getting those photos out with a few parents and testing to see what they enjoy about it, what's working. And then once I know how this project is truly impactful, then I'll extend it to the, the whole class. So one option that I could have done with sharing photos was to print them out and send them to every family. Um, but just logistically, that wouldn't work for me to be able to print all those photos every day. I knew that the families I was sharing with had access to email and internet at home. So I chose to use Google Docs to share the photos with our families. It's really easy for me. I'm able to upload them into the document and then just directly email it out to the families to open up. So when they get home, they check their email, they have a message from me, they open up the link and there are the photos from that student's day. So then the family can look through the photos with their student. Now this gives them a chance to see what the student sees during the day, what their experiences are in the classroom. Samantha, I need to get the camera ready for you, but you'll be the photographer today. So Samantha will be the photographer. Samantha had the camera and she was taking some photos of her friends at snack time and she was giving them instructions of like, oh no, you sit here and you make a smile and now do this silly face. And so the three other girls were able to pair up and buddy up and Samantha took some really great photos of those girls. So it was great to see how these friendships are building and they're bonding through the photos. I have the Gmail app 
in my phone so she'll start from there showing dad grandma the neighbor how her day is she just loves it <laughs> and she'll tell me like what they were doing or what she told them to do there was one where one had a scary face and a funny face and she was like i told them to do funny face my younger daughter loves the fact that she'll soon go to school just by seeing samantha doing the pictures she's really excited about that <laughs> The benefits for me are that, you know, I get to hear her express herself, how she is during the day, how she feels about her friends, her teachers, everything around her that involves her at school. I'm just excited. I think her language improved because of the photographer, being able to express and talk about it, you know, saying her friends' names and different objects in the class and, you know, making it into a longer sentence. And For example, she took a picture of her friend, Abigail. They had a tower. She had to let me know that she and Abigail made that tower. And she told Abigail to get behind it. She had two different poses of that picture. She was like, I just wanted to show you close and then how tall it was. You know, sometimes even we'll try to, since we're bilingual, we try adding some Spanish words in there. I say with students today, putting a digital camera in their hands is actually pretty simple. Power on, power off, and point and shoot. And through the simple action, we're able to see a lot of different things in the classroom. So some kids are documenting work that other students are doing that I might not even be able to see. And they're capturing moments in the classroom with their friends, and that's a wonderful experience for us to get to appreciate it seeing her very excited about the pictures and coming home and telling me about her day and what time it happened or what subject or activity they were doing. So it's, it's really cool. I'm just really excited about this year with her. One photo that I particularly loved was one girl is just loving life in this photo. I'm not even sure what part of the day it happened or who the photographer was that day, but she is ecstatic to be in school and that's really important for me to see.